Hey, what's good family? The stock market just got me and I didn't realize what it was doing coming into it. But as it was happening, I saw what was going on. So I figured this is the perfect opportunity to show you the importance of top-down analysis. All right, so here we are. We are in trading view. We are looking at the charts. We're currently on the four hour chart. And what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the market structure and we're going to start on a higher time frame and move down to the lower time frames. This is referred to as top down analysis. And the reason this is called top down analysis is because it happens on a larger time frame and you work your way down to the smaller ones, which you'll be trading on. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to highlight, we're just going to highlight this section right here I'm going on right here. What's it look like it's going on? So right here, we opened up at the top over here. We sold off down here and now we retraced halfway. That's how it looks on the four hour. Now let's drop down to the one hour. Tells a bit of a different story. So we dropped down, we consolidated, traded sideways. Then we sold off really heavy, quickly reversed. Looks like we tapped into some sort of uh, demand zone or support or resistance right here. You can see this is a old level of support. So we kind of tapped into this zone right here and then we've bought up pretty heavy ever since. Now going down to the 30 minutes kind of tells a similar story, but you know, came down a little bit slower, consolidated, came back up, came down, consolidated, same kind of story. But if you compare what you see here to what you see here, it's a completely different story. So what you want to do with top down analysis is first you want to find out the trend. So right here, looking at the trend, we have a low, high, low, high, low, higher, high, higher, low. So right now we're in an uptrend. And then if we drop down to here, let's drop down to the 15. Uh, you can see here we have a high, we have a low, lower high, lower low, same high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And then right here, we get a switch of direction. So this is the importance of top down analysis because one thing can be happening on a lower time frame, and a different thing can be happening on a higher time frame. So this whole time from here to here, we're bearish or from here to here, we're bearish. But on the lower time frame, it's bullish. But on the higher time frame, if you just check that time frame, it's bearish. This right here is the real reason I want you to be aware of what's going on on top down analysis here. Let me clear this out. So if you just look on the four hour time frame, what you'll notice is this trend line has been being respected. So we come, so we got one touch, two touch, three touch. And right now we are making our fourth touch. And if you just look at the trend line on the lower time frame, this morning we broke through the trend line and it looked like we were going to continue down. And this is exactly where I got got. This was the trade I took this morning. I bought a call right here, bounced off the trend line came down i bought a put to go against the calls then it looks like my put got burned luckily i still have the calls they're in the money now looks like they actually just hit my target but uh pretty much what's going on is we have a break of the turn line on the lower time frame but if you look on the higher time frame really all it is is just liquidity right here this little blue area these little this wick it's just liquidity. This is just getting people out of their stop losses. This is one of the reasons I prefer to use a four hour time frame. And just me looking at this chart, what I would expect this to do is to at least, it would have been nice to get my entry from here, but I believe I got it somewhere. I got it about right here. So just what I would expect from this is for it to come retest the highs right here which means I could ride this stock up a potential 4%, ride this trade for a dollar and 19 cent move. So what I just showed you is called top-down analysis. If you ever hear anybody say top-down analysis, this is what they're referring to. They are referring to when you start on a higher time frame 
and work your way down. Don't just trade looking at one time frame, especially if it's on a lower time frame, because stocks respect the higher time frames a lot more than they do the lower ones. And there are a lot more tricks to be found on the lower time frames. Now, with that being said, if you enjoyed the video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. And for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.